Hey, it's H here. Today we're taking a look at technical analysis for Solana. I'll cover wave analysis with the elite wave theory and provide multiple scenarios a price may take and explain why I prefer one count over another. Let's take a look at the different possibilities. Starting here on a weekly timeframe and with the RSI. Um, this trend line again was based off of these highs around the September 2021 and the November 2021 peaks. Again, this was uh, acted as a as a fifth and a sorry and third and the fifth of a previous wave count here. So that's where it started from. Again, this trend line was tested here around the March 2022 and currently now again. Uh, we'll see how it turns out and where the next weekly candle closes um, and we'll get more clear result if this is going to be breaking or dumping more again. Um, let's again check out the overall possibilities for this correction um, is this one in which we have, or this is the first uh, possibility in which we have a WXY. Um, again, not based on original Elliott Wood book as we have complex corrections within complex corrections, but this is the way I like this, this at least this uh, structure to go with. Uh, I have another count here that is an ABC overall that has and is going by the book original LFA principle. Um, so if you're more into that, I guess you could be playing that more. Now for this overall, we have a W, X and Y. Uh, within the way Y of intermediate count, we would be having this as a W, X and Y. Um, wave X is very small, but again, um, don't really have anything else here. We can see that the trend ended down here we broke it here and now we got back up here. Um, it is not as clear as it could be. We can't really have this um, structure in here be the same, I don't think. Let's make sure. Yeah, it is beyond the 1.618 extension. So we can't have this, this structure here be part of this. So yeah, um, that's why we have the X here. Now, looking at this again, uh, higher time frame, we've had this as an ending or leading diagonal in this case, and then we would have something else in here to connect for the B, way B, whether it is done up here, or we are going to be doing something like uh, three waves, three waves, and three waves. I'm not quite sure yet. Uh, time will tell. Um, but yeah, the WXY count is suggesting that we are going to be taking out these lows that we had here around the 13th of June at some point. The more bullish count is this one in which we have already created a wave 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5 into a wave A, A, B, C into wave B and then again 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. Same uh, expanding diagonal here um, on the fifth wave or as a fifth wave this time but in, instead of the leading diagonal it is an ending diagonal. This would end the wave C down here. Um, definitely interesting area uh, overall. Not too much uh, volume compared uh, to the rest of the structures here. We do have this structure over here that is main reason why we are getting stuck in this price area as well. Um, where we got stuck as this lows was right here around the $26 area. And we can see on volume profile that is right where the uh, last bit of volume on this whole chart is, is at before the next area of interest, which is around the $16, uh, starting at $16 to $13 area. So if we are going to be losing this low here with the other higher time frame, time frame uh, count of this WXY, then I would be looking at those those numbers overall. Now, um, let's look into this smaller time frame structure that we've had since the lows. Uh, overall, to me, this looks best as a three way structure in here, three waves down here, and then again, three waves, creating this WXY up here. Again, as mentioned, the B wave overall could be down here or up here it is not certain as of yet what we are uh, looking at too much. Um, all of these uh, structures in Solana looks to be very overlapping. 
and it is really hard to create any diagonals even out of them. So that's why I'm mainly looking at this as a three wave and then more three wave structures to come. Um, if this indeed is the X wave here, this structure, we could be looking at some targets in time um, around the 13th of June or July, sorry, which is again the CPI data. Um, so there's multiple things that are again pivoting from the 13th um, that are happening right around that time. So it is possible that we are having this three-way structure, three-way structure, and if we are indeed having good news here on the 13th, we could have this structure, again, a connector for this one, like so, and then getting higher. Um, of course, that is not guaranteed, and this instead could already be done here. Now, at that point, again, I can't really get us any any five way looking structures downwards. So that's why I'm I'm still thinking that we are within that B wave instead of that C wave. For the C wave, we would need an impulse wave structure or motive wave structure at least to get us downwards. Um, and I just can't find it here. It definitely looks um, more impulsive after this peak here, but looking at these structures inside here, these just look like three way structures overall everywhere as you see here. Um, yeah, this part here is the only one that looks impulsive structure by again, ABC. So that is impulsive on, on the uh, subway structures in itself. But yeah, we'll see what happens in Wednesday as the CPI data comes in on the 13th. Uh, that will be a major, major um, news release basically um, to the rest of the people who are actually using that to trade uh, interesting things to come. But that is pretty much everything I want to share today. If you made it this far into the video, I would appreciate all the likes. Uh, link to my free Discord server in the description below. And please let me know what asset should I cover next. For now, I thank you for watching and hope you have an amazing rest of your day. See you in the next video. Bye bye.